So Samantha B, a left wing feminist, what do you call her? A TV personality, comedian, I don't know. She tweets that or she says on a broadcast that Ivanka Trump is a feckless C word that rhymes with hunt. That's right. That's right. She goes out and says that, that Ivanka Trump is a is a C word. And this happens just like a couple of days after Roseanne Barr got her entire show canceled for tweeting out that Valerie Jarrett was the offspring of Muslim Brotherhood combined with Planet of the Apes. Now, the difference between these two is that nothing will happen to Samantha B. Nothing ever happens to leftists because in their world, their bigotry and their hatred never counts. It's only Trump supporters who have to be fired and destroyed and smeared and slandered if they get out of line. And Roseanne Barr did get out of line. Her, her tweet was, you know, very, very crude and rude and not, not nice in any way. I, you know, if I'm going to criticize somebody, I criticize them for their policies and ideas and lack of ethics. Not what they look like. That's high school stuff. So it was a bad, stupid tweet. But Roseanne apologized for it immediately, and she claimed to have done it on Ambien, a drug that makes people sleepwalk and even sleep drive and makes people murder people, reportedly, in their sleep without even knowing what they're doing. Some people have ordered things online on, on Amazon.com while on Ambien, and they had no idea they, they had placed the orders. I mean, Ambien does make people do stuff. Not, I'm not excusing this. Uh, maybe if you take Ambien, you shouldn't have your mobile phone handy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe you should, you know, like I say, don't drink and drive. Uh, don't pop Ambien and tweet. Maybe should be the, the, the new slogan. But in any case, think about the sickening double standard. Think about Olbermann, Keith Olbermann, how much horrible, nasty, profane-laced, or pro profanity-laced stuff has he directed at President Trump? How many of these leftists, even Bill Maher, for example, just the most insane, derogatory, bigoted crap that you can imagine toward uh, Trump and Melania Trump and Ivanka Trump and others. And how many people are out there on the left comparing Trump to an orangutan because of his orange hair, so to speak, and because of the way he moves his lips? And you can see photos comparing Trump to an orangutan. And it's, it's the same thing, but to the left, oh, that stuff doesn't count. It's only when Roseanne Barr tweets Planet of the Apes. Now that's horrible. She has to have her entire career destroyed. And it brings up two thoughts. Number one, we live in an age where Democrats slash leftists slash liberals slash progressives have become so mentally unstable and hysterical that you can only call it truly mass mental illness. I've described it before as mass hallucinations or mass hypnosis, but it's, it's a mental illness. And they, they cannot process the world around them in a rational, consistent way. They're just incapable of it. To them, every insult uttered by a conservative is the most horrific thing they've ever heard, and they need a PTSD therapy because it's traumatic. But when they utter just as nasty stuff like Samantha B who, let's face it, <laughs> you know, she's not, not too bright, not, not that entertaining, not that good. The only thing she's got going for her is that she's just a, an obedient feminist leftist. That's it. That's the only reason she's even got a show. But when she utters the C word directed at Ivanka, the left says, oh, that's, uh, that's normal. That's totally fine. And the reason they say that to themselves is because they say, well, because Ivanka is a C word in their minds, you see. They cannot see their own bias. They can't see the, the hypocrisy. They're incapable of seeing how bigoted they are. Leftists don't see themselves as racist when they are racist against white people. They don't see themselves as, as bigots when they are bigoted against Trump supporters or, or Southerners, for that matter. Leftists don't see themselves as being unfair when they unfairly treat people uh, based on their political leanings. You know, leftists in government, in the Department of Justice, in the FBI, they don't see themselves as corrupt when they are deeply corrupt uh, officials who abuse the power of government to target political enemies for selective prosecution, fabricating crimes against them. Leftists are insane. And 
the conclusion of this, as I've said several times, is we have to get to the point where we, we realize that leftists are not capable of participating in a free society. They cannot participate in any election without you know, trying to nullify the outcome if they lose. Leftists cannot participate in media without becoming radically unhinged, biased uh, activists instead of journalists. Leftists cannot participate in Hollywood without turning every damn movie and every new documentary or TV series on Netflix into a transgender-pushing propaganda piece. Like, every, every show now has to be transgenders and restroom, you know, women in, or I'm sorry, biological men in women's restrooms. Every show has to have a sufficient number of gay people and LGBT people and so on. It's like leftists cannot engage in anything without ruining it. In the same way that leftists cannot run cities without causing those cities to crumble into ruin. Look at Chicago. Or as they say in Chicago, look at Chicago. Look at Detroit. Look at Los Angeles. Look at Baltimore. I mean, the list goes on. Look at Seattle. I mean, it, it's, it's totally insane. These people cannot touch anything. I'm talking about Democrats. They can't touch anything without destroying it, obliterating it. And this is why, you know, the answer to this is we, the rest of us who are sane Americans, even those of us who used to be liberals, like myself, by the way, I used to be liberal when I was younger, when I was in college. And maybe you used to be liberal too. We have now grown up and realized that liberals today are so deranged and so dangerous to society that we must make sure that they never have power over us. That's when they're dangerous. That's when they're deadly. That's when they are out of control. The more power they have, the more they abuse it against us. The more power they have, the more they destroy society. And because we live in a lawful society, you know, you can't just run around shooting liberals with guns, right? That's not acceptable. That's a lawless, you know, form of violence. That's not how a, how a, a civil society should operate. But you can go to the voting booth and you can vote against Democrats in every election. And that is what you must do. And you must turn off the TV shows that are liberal propaganda. Stop watching MSNBC. Stop watching Samantha Bee, if you ever even did. I, I don't even know where to find her show. Stop watching the liberal propaganda on Netflix. Stop paying for Hollywood movies that are liberal propaganda. Just disengage from all that stuff. And I know you are. I mean, I mean, turn off your cable. You know, cancel your account. Stop giving money to ESPN, which has become a radical, mentally ill, left-wing, liberal, you know, front for the sports reporting industry. They don't even really cover sports as much as they cover just pushing social justice warrior propaganda now. That's, that's their whole mission now. Forget sports. They're all about pushing a liberal agenda. Stop reading liberal websites. You know, you, you stop allowing these deranged, lunatic leftists to have any kind of power over you. We go out and vote at every election and vote against the Democrats at every opportunity. That is a big part of the solution to all of this. And that's what we all must do. Because we are the ones who are actually tolerant. We, you know, the libertarians, the conservatives, the independent thinkers, we are tolerant. We're okay with people being gay. We're okay, we're okay with people being trans as long as they respect our individual liberties. We don't mind people doing what they want in their individual lives. What we mind is an authoritarian system of control. The left-wing overlords trying to ruin our lives and rule over us and tell us what we're allowed to think and what we're allowed to say. And getting people like Roseanne fired for a, a stupid tweet while leftists like Samantha Bee and Jimmy Kimmel and all these other bigots and haters like Keith Olbermann are allowed to have essential immunity against any accusations when they are far worse than Roseanne. So don't let these people have power over your life. That's the key. Stand up, vote against Democrats at every election, and stop supporting left-leaning movies and films and TV shows and organizations and news publishers, all that. 
Disengage from the deranged left. And that's how you protect your own mind and your own psychology from being heavily polluted by these insane, deranged leftists who, frankly, should not even be allowed to participate in a free society because they disqualify themselves. They are not capable of rational thought. They're not capable of rational debate, rational discourse, rational voting. None none of that. They are deranged. They're lunatics. You might as well just categorize them as zombies at this point because that's all they are. They're mindless zombie hordes, and they want to destroy you and feed off of you, but they themselves are incapable, absolutely incapable of processing the world around them in any way that makes rational sense to normal people. And leftists have become a group of people who are not normal anymore. And that's all they do is they just regurgitate the lies and the nonsense that's been fed to them by horrible people who are on TV. Truly horrible people. Unethical, dishonest, deceptive, dark-hearted, evil, evil people. That's Jimmy Kimmel. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's Samantha B. You know, the, the list goes on. So hear more of my podcast at healthrangerreport.com. And also, of course, read my website, naturalnews.com. And join me in the launch of Real.Video, which is the YouTube video alternative. It's launching this July. You could have a channel there for free. And you can join me in speaking your mind without being censored. As you can tell, I don't censor myself, and I'm not going to censor you either. Thanks for joining Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.